Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Techno Blur. My name is Ivan Wilkins and with me is Maurice John. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and today we're gonna to have a special episode today. Um, tell us what we're gonna talk about. Um, the NTRC, uh, which stands for the National Telecommunication Regulation Co- Commission, released a mobile application um, called Vinci Prices. the app and yeah. share our thoughts on this Perfect. app. That's right. So, um, well, my first thought about the app is um, I just like to show some appreciation to the initiative um, that was pushed out to get this app done. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a welcome addition to the many local uh, apps produced and developed by Vincentians that have been coming out this year. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we spoke about the you buy it. You buy it. Right, the you buy it app, and there are many other apps out there from Vincentians and developers in Vincent. So it's a welcome addition as well. This Vinci pricing app. Before we go into describing it, what exactly is Vinci pricing? What does oh, it okay. do? What does it do? Okay, so the app itself, it's um, it gives you, it throws out information about the various prices of various commodities. Um, that you can find in the various supermarkets. For instance, um, if you're price comparing chicken back, uh-huh. yeah, it gives you the prices. Of Why are you chicken? <laughs> Why are you chicken back? Let's say chicken, oh, well. Let's say chicken breast. <laughs> oh man, chicken breast, chicken back. It, it doesn't matter. So if you're comparing, if you want to do a price comparison, um, the app could tell you what the prices are at the various locations. Okay. Um, so what we've noticed so far is the supermarkets involved are um, Randy's, Buddy's, Careers, mm-hmm. and Graves, and Vera. Yes. Right. So it does, it does comparisons for those supermarkets. Alright, so um, according to the app, the data is updated once every two weeks um, to ensure that um, you get the, the latest prices. Um, so, we're going to take some time now to give our our um, views on this application and then give some suggestions as to you know how can they make a few changes to make the experience a bit better. Oh, it's, it's, it's pretty clean, pretty mm-hmm. simple and very, very basic. Uh-huh. Um, I, I, almost too basic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do I think? Well, it's native, so that's good. So it's really fast and it's really nice. Um, few things. I don't want to jump too fast into the critique of it. Okay. Uh, let's be good. We point out as much good as possible. So you get a list of items in the start, and you can choose the different items, and then you come. You be shown. Uh, a list of supermarkets at each price. So let's say right now I'm checking out cheese and the cheapest price for cheese uh, the Anchor Vegetarian Cheese 500 G is $19.67. That's the cheapest. And but in these Vera Massey Koreas all have the same price. The only outlier is Randy's which have it at $20.40. So it does what it says yeah. it should do. So in the basis of that, it's well laid out. Well, it's laid out in a way that you yeah, can't... Not, not, not well laid out. Well, <laughs> well. So there are some few changes that we would like to see. Yeah. Uh, but it's laid out in a, in a, in a sense where you will not last right. as to how to do things. Mm-hmm. Um, so, changes. What are okay. some changes? Some of our suggested features. Um, one of them, we would like to see some addressing the same issue you just mentioned. We would like to see some categorization of some of these items, okay. um, because at the moment you have to scroll through a just decent one. list. It's one long list, um, and the items are scattered of various kinds. So to yeah. find what you want, you have to go through this long list. So some categorization would be very helpful mm-hmm. for version two of the app. 
Right, so we've categorized each other. Another change you'd like to see is maybe using pictures of the items themselves. Yeah. Um, so you can actually choose based on the images and not just the images. Right. So it kind of, you can jump at a, a particular item quicker if you have the image of right. the item. Yeah. Um, yeah, another suggested feature that we thought about um, is the ability to create your own basket. Right. Um, explain that for me. Um, so, uh, uh, we were thinking that if this is a cost saving measure application, why not be able to create a shopping list and the application automatically looks at the database and tells you, okay, if you shop at Randy's or Korea's or uh, Bonnie, this is how much you will spend on all of your items. Let's say I want to go shopping for 10 items. I put them in my list, the database does a comparison and says, okay, in my database, I have these items in there and you will get the best overall price, price at the supermarket instead of the individual right. items because you rarely go to the supermarket and buy one, one item. item. That's so if you could look at a shop card then if you if you go this up route, you have to dig down into each each item, put down the cars, come back out, do everything. Right. It, it becomes it's tedious. It become tedious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that is a, a change that we would actually would like to see. Yeah. And these are some small changes that will that we think would significantly boost the usage of the app and the how the perception of the app. Okay. Yeah. Um, just a few concerns I had though. Um, concerns, okay. Yeah. Um, well, we already mentioned how often the app is updated. Okay. And can you remind us one? How often? Um, once every two weeks. Once every two weeks. And what about the accuracy of these prices? Uh, I'm not sure. Then. I think you have an FAQ okay, how accurate is the information. This inf the information displayed is acquired directly from the supermarket themselves to ensure that the data is given. So they get it straight from the source. Yes. Alright. And um, who is responsible for getting the information? I figure it's the NGRC so will we'll contact them. And um, yeah, the Ministry of um, Foreign Affairs, Trade and Commerce collects and disposes information for the customer information. Oh, okay. Yes. So right. actually the ministry is responsible for collecting information mm -hmm. and getting it out there. You know. Yeah, so all in all the app is a very good venture, very good idea. Um, this app yeah, I'm sure is it is just one of many to come. So a good start, few changes we would like to see. But all in all, a good start. Really yes, good. agreed. It's a good start. Yeah. All right. So this has been another episode of Techno Blog. Um, like us on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube. Yeah, and don't forget to leave some comments. Tell us what you like about the show, and tell us what you want to hear us talk about, and so forth. Just talk to us in general, and tell us what you think about the app as well if you're testing it out. All right. So check out, check it out. Vinci prices. Mm -hmm. Um. Check it out and see what you think. Give some feedback. Alright, peace out.